become a power eater. As usual, we give thanks to God for blessing us, man, for giving us another chance to see this amazing day. Yeah, and that means we all have a purpose. Man, so come on, man, so to kupumua leo. Come on, man, so man, so for much of you. You, you've been able to see these days that means your papa still lives yeah and all the glory goes to our god because he's the only one who has the authority in or for our lives so guys uh that's how we start this channel by just giving the glory to god come on when you get me hapa if you're new here karibu karibu sana we love uh, newcomers and make sure you hit hit that subscribe button don't forget the notification bell that is just right next to it hit it so that anytime i upload a new video you will get it being the first and the kamo merudi tena manze eish a big salute to you manze i love you so much thank you for your support and uh, continue supporting this channel let us grow let us inform each other because uh, almax kenya is all about educative and entertaining channel guys <laughs> i'm still a bit sad because uh huh, there's quite a lot that has been happening that has been going on and i just felt like i really need to do this video because there's so many people as in nikama everyone squeeze ya going to depression you know and uh, in our country like almost every day kwa news there are new cases of murder there are new cases of suicides like killings everywhere and maybe the most reason ni depression people don't know how to handle their de uh, when they are depressed how to handle themselves and uh, i think it's just right about time that we embrace things that we can do to cool down or calm down our anger because some things people are doing they're doing it uh, as a result of anger and then you know later you start regretting and there are very many innocent people who are caught in between and uh, it, it really hurts you know <clears throat> and there are things that you can do that you can't take it back once it's done it's done and uh, I just came across a certain video last week, you know, and it really traumatized me. It really tormented me because what I saw, it went viral, by the way. In one way or another, maybe you might have come across that video. It was uh, of a man, a very young man, beating up uh, his wife. And to make it worse, uh, their four months baby was involved and the man was so angry so in the process of beating the the mother if i'm not wrong the way i understood the video the baby the four month baby was lying down there so the mom i think was trying to protect this baby and the, the that man took the baby and smashed the baby to the wall imagine a four four month baby i'm a funny and anyway to slay a very innocent baby had do anything i mean it was so so painful so painful and if you're a parent out there you can feel the pain that i am feeling it is so so painful and uh, what made it so worse or unfortunately the baby passed away imagine just because of anger like you just do something people are really doing things that i don't know what, what's happening to people even if it's anger there is how you can manage your anger there is how you can control it and in what form in what point there are people you just don't in, involve especially babies kwanza in uh squeezy as in kumekwana so much going on in relationships in marriages and those who get hurt in between are kids children very innocent little angels get involved and get hurt and maybe if it is not physical hurt they uh, they hurt mentally you know they they grow up uh, being traumatized being tormented with things that they have seen and some 
grow up with the same habits. For example, by the these things, uh, uh, parents sometimes wanna uh, change because you expose or, or you fight your issues to your children. So they grow up knowing, ah, mami anachapangwa, or it is right to hit a woman, or it is right to, to, to you know, take a knife. It is right to do, you know, certain things. And they grow up knowing that. If it is a, if it's a boy, unapatata kwa matabia zake, when he's grown up, maybe ana play na madem, or even the sisters, the small sisters, ananza kumchapa, you know, uh, because ni kitu anaona, ni kitu inafanyika, you know, na akikuwa, akipata nyumba yake, when he becomes a, a, a husband to someone, that's the same, same energy he takes there. So as parents, we should really embrace, uh, we should really know how to deal with the, our issues out of our children's sights, you know. Let them grow with a positive uh, version of marriages, of relationships. You actually, hey, this is how mom loves dad. This is how dad treats mom. Trust me, that's the same way he would like or he will do it to the person he meets or the person she meets later in life. So it is how we bring up our children. You know, if we expose them to some things, trust me, that's how they will grow. And even some uh, grow up being traumatized, they even fear like ladies, maybe the girl, maybe girl grow, grows up fearing maybe to be married because he, she thinks that every man out there is a violent man, you know, is a harmful man. So let's try and protect our babies in all ways. And let's try and stop involving our babies in our issues. And then another thing, when you just feel like, uh, maybe you're in a relationship and you just feel it's really heated. Both of you just take take time. Maybe one of you should step out, kidogo, go have some breather, you know, get some air, and then come back when you your mind is fresh, is settled, and your anger is gone. And then there you can be able even to sense together, talk together, and agree, you know. But when you're in anger, by the way, you can do anything. And then later on. Upon the shitani sitani ingiliyanga, you do something stupid, and then later on, after anger in atulia, because you utakuwa angry, you know, all through. If you atulia, you come and be like, guy, what did I do? And whatever you did, maybe caused harm to someone physically, mentally, and you cannot change it or take it back. So let us always be so, so cautious. Manda, these babies, baby, the people that I'm really... Uh, when you know rumia sana ni kids, Aki kids are really involved. Unapata there are many cases, like every day for news, cases ya a man has slaughtered the babies and killed the wives and hanged himself. Or the mother uh, has poisoned or burnt the house, they, you know, so that she can die with the babies. Like these are babies who came to this world with a purpose. They have their own lives. You go, Okay, um, I don't want to encourage anything here, but anyway, if you have your issues, look for how you, you can sort it out. Look for a mentor, look for a, a religious leader, look for a community leader, look for even a neighbor or a friend or even a family member. Try and share it out so that you won't be, you won't transfer the anger, you know, to the people that you love and live to regret, you know. And also, uh, no one has the right of these lives. You don't have a right to end another person's life. And even you yourself, you don't have the right to end your own life. All these rights are for God. Like God, we have all these authority. He's the one who gave us this life. You didn't sign up anywhere to be here. He's the one who decided, ah, Nani, you should be here because he has a good purpose for you. So even if you feel down with your business financially in a relationship or either way, seek God, you know, if you believe in God, if whichever way. And or if not so, look for help somewhere. Just talk to someone. You know, when you share something, when you share a problem, even if you won't get a solution, you'll feel relieved. That maybe the anger that 
that you had, you'll just feel relieved by there automatically. It really works. Just talk to someone. Tell them this is what I'm going through. Even if they won't help you, you'll have helped yourself in one way. You know. And so you, you get even some people, you, you angry maybe at work or something is bothering you and you maybe come and transfer your anger to someone. It is so wrong to involve innocent people who really don't deserve. Actually, there's no one who deserves the outcome of anger. So we should really try our best and manage it. Manage how we, we relate with people, how we react when we are angry. You know, and for me, what I'll do, what I'd prefer is take time, cool down. If you, if, if you're not an open person, maybe if you don't like talking too much or something, get a breather, maybe. Go, come on, you shall go, go to a friend's place, relax. You know, if it is that heated, relax, and then come, sit down, then now figure out things when your mind is sober. Okay, you don't have to um, involve, don't make people get hurt because of you, because of something that you could have uh, avoided or something maybe you could have controlled, you know, yeah. And I believe if we all do that, these cases of, you know, murder, these cases of kill, these cases of even suicide will end. Even our kids, you should, how, as parents, how we raise our kids, you can see even a nine-year-old baby committing suicide. Where did they even have the thought from at, at first? That's what we should ask ourselves. Are we parents doing the right thing? Because uh, as kids, sometimes maybe they are, they, they are going through a lot also. Maybe in school there's a teacher who is uh, against him or her. Maybe uh, they are people bullying her or him and you don't know maybe you're at work you don't even have that quality time let's try and make and create time as possible to be in the lives to be involved in the lives of our kids so that you even and make them feel um that they can be able to share with you be free for them there are those okay being tough is nice but also it can be bad, you know, because the kid will grow up uh, fearing you. They can't even approach you. They don't even know how to start, you know. But if we, if we create an environment where our kids can be able to approach us in a very nice way without any fear and be able to open us up to us, and tell us that way you can know what is happening in your child's life and you can be able to protect them and uh, guide them, you know. And easy cases are suicide, Zetasha, because a nine-year-old baby, it was someone in suicide with what? You know, what has really caused the, the thought of suicide. So if we create the environment of, and also involve them in church activities like the youths and all that, Sunday school, let them go, let them also be covered by, you know, the word of God. Let them know the church, let them know, uh, as in, let them also interact with other people. They might not be able to be open to you, but they can be open to maybe an uncle, an auntie, a cousin, a friend, a church friend there. And that way they'll get a solution. But if they are raised in an environment where they fear everywhere, fear installed everywhere, where they can't even open up, that's where they don't have someone to talk to and they get, they end up. Uh, committing suicide. So let's try and embrace such things. Depression is real out here. But then mental cases is real. Now mental mental illness is not at It comes with different forms. Depression, you feel anger, you cannot control your anger, you end up doing those all those are mental illnesses and we need to know how to deal with that condition because it is real it is so real let us be able to join groups where there is motivation you know and also when you embrace reading the bible it helps a lot but they it really helps a lot so build yourself uh even spiritually and 
make prayers your best friend. Na kwambia prayers does wonders. When you as in they have not seen miracles. Hey, yeah, there is miracle. miracles in prayers. Dedicate your family. Dedicate your babies, your child. When you woke up today, did you even say thank you to God? Did you even dedicate that baby, that husband, or guess, that boyfriend, that relationship of yours, your mother, your daddy, your uncle, your brother? Did you dedicate them to God? We need to pray for each other. Na kwamba mambo zimekuwa mzito everything you know economically financially yani all over that's why we really need prayers and we need to support each other with prayers pray for one another you know pray for one another so that's why i yani niliona hiyo video and i was really hard i felt like it was my own baby and i decided to do this video just to you know talk to people out there and uh, you know try to create this awareness of how to manage your anger even if it is so bad even if someone has hurt you so bad like so so bad look for another alternative don't act with anger because it is it will be something that will lead to regret and it is something that you can never take it back so let's let's try and you know see what to do so that we can be able to reduce these cases of uh suicide killings every day you know it is so so sad yeah and also uh in relationships this is what i wanted to to touch on if you feel you know there's uh there's sometimes maybe you're in, with someone in a relationship and you both feel like fed up with each other you feel like it is not working completely why stay why continue staying and you you're not happy you know marriage or really marriage is meant for happiness for love and love love carries a lot of things where there is love there is trust there is respect there is care and when you love someone you won't even think of doing something you won't even think of even even the thought will never cross your mind of maybe killing them or even hurting them and when it gets to a point you even feel that way there is no love there and when, there are people who are like no this person maybe will change will change and every day they pro, they actually upgrade they start by threatening you the second thing they will slap you the third thing they will start beating you up you just they are saying it will work it will work if it is not meant to don't force yourself just you know try and protect yourself from some things you know if it is not meant to if someone has told you i don't want you in my life don't force yourself you know when you force yourself and when they when any anyway, if there is love you can't even have such thoughts of killing and all that hurting someone but if there is no love the thought comes very easily very easily so why force yourself in some in somewhere or in someone's life where they don't need you and that's where you end up seeing uh someone chopping off someone's legs someone's hand and you disable them like permanently you become disabled evil to no get your coma pema so we pray for our relationships we pray for our marriages but if you see there's a point where it gets and you like this is not love this is not love completely love is not forced it's automatic and it just it flows love flows love is a very sweet thing it just flows it flows and if you have issues and you can never solve them instead it actually gets worse ask yourself is this really love and everyone has their own right person for them so don't force yourself to the wrong person and get and end up you know regretting and you be like 
if I could have taken this action the first time, this could have not happened. Why, why stay or live with regret and yet you can save yourself? So, guys, kindly let's embrace, uh, let's love actually one another. That's the greatest gift that God gave us love. Because if you love your neighbor as you love yourself, and your neighbor is not really the person who stays the next door, your neighbor is anyone who you interact with. If you love your, if you can't hurt yourself, then love that person and you cannot hurt them. So love is the greatest gift because it carries everything. It carries everything. And don't do something that you know, when you do something, first consider, is this the same thing I would like someone to be for me? Ata kama ni mekosa, and you go chop someone's hand. Uunge kosea the same way, and they come cut off your hand. Will you be happy with that action? So let's embrace love. Love, any, let's spread love, you know. And let's embrace forgiveness. But then if you cannot for, forgive each other, then uh, that's where we're going to go. You can't stay pamoja. Even if it's your neighbor. If they wrong you, have the heart to forgive and let go. Because if you pile, 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 pile issue, una bath, pop, and una am trying to take actions that are not even, they have no meaning. Yeah, so let's embrace forgiveness. Love and love comes with respect. You respect one another, you take care for one another, and you live a happy life, man. God me to party in life so that you can celebrate it, you know. So that you can celebrate it. And we are wasting it. We are actually wasting it. So let's embrace the gift of life that God gave us. So guys, hope um if you're in depression, if you're depressed, if you're angry about something, maybe someone hurt you, or you're angry about some something, or you feel just down, take a moment, pray, ask God to give you the grace to move on, the courage to carry on, the strength to overcome all this that you're passing through, and keep on moving, you know. God aku aku kuhule light aku petu light mwangaza na aku guide and everything shall be okay. Those thoughts can never cross your mind and never entertain such thoughts, you know, of hurting someone else in your mind. Because once you entertain those thoughts, they become an action. So let's all embrace love. So I hope this video will get to someone out there will touch someone's life and change it for the best. Yeah, let's protect one another. We all need one another. Yeah. And we all have a purpose in this world. So let's live up to, to our purpose. So that's it, guys, for today. I just thought of sharing this information at least so that uh, we can be able to reduce all the cruelness that is happening around us. So if you think this video is informative, if you think this video will help someone out there, kindly share, share, share it to groups, share it so that it can go viral and help people out there who feel are depressed, people who feel that uh, they feel low, people who feel like uh, they have no, they don't know what to do. Maybe it can touch someone's life somewhere, someone who maybe was thinking of doing something wrong and they can change through seeing this video so thank you so much for watching uh and uh, you can comment down below what kind of things have you come across how have you handled or have you helped someone out there manage their anger or their depression yeah so help let us be our our brothers and sisters keepers yeah so that's it for today. I wrap it there. It has been your girl. Until next time.